Hi and welcome to Let's Talk eBay. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is August 20th, 2021. Thank you for tuning in. Today I want to talk about if you have slow sales, you tried everything, you did your promoted listings, and you got your markdown manager on all your listings, you know, you're dropping the price down by 5%, 10%. And you're still not getting that buyer to, you know, it's not enough to entice them to buy. Well, I'm going to show you one more method, and I hope it works for you guys as much as I hope it works for me. So if you can stick around, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to keep this video as brief as possible. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First off, we're going to go to the sell. Okay, you're going to go to the sell button, click it on, and you're going to come over here right where my mouse cursor is, and you're going to see it says send offers. Okay, now this one's telling me I'm eligible to send 31 uh, buy potential buyers out there an offer uh, for the items listed on eBay. All right, so this here, what I'm, what I'm showing you, hopefully, will entice the buyer to hit that buy it now button. We're hoping, right? We always try to hope for the best. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I want to show you there's two ways to do it, okay? I'm going to try to explain it to you the best I can. All right. So now what I'm saying is two ways to send off is you could do it in a bulk setting where you click on, like, well, I'll, I'll, let's do it right now. You could check off here to the far right of my mouse, for the far left my mouse is, is right here. You click off the top one. And when you hit the blue button that says send offers, you're going to get all those 31 legible listings that are going to pop up. Now let's move this guy. Let's close this guy out here. This one here, by the way, before we get off the, you know, get on to the other topic. This one here says encourage interested buyers with a coupon. I haven't used that yet, folks, but when I do use it, I will let you know how good it is. Okay. All right. So let's get back to this. Here, as you can see again, my mouse cursor is moving around. I got 31 legible listings that I can offer a percentage uh this a discounted price using a percentage okay and it's right up here and you'll see it says percentage off now whatever percentage you put in all i say is this make sure you check your figures your cost of goods and everything and so forth and so on and so forth because when it comes to that there you know some people want to make sales and they might you know think ahead of themselves say well I'll just put 10 or 15 percent down and you'll find out later on you broke even so make sure you do all your figuring I'll be prior to doing this here okay because I don't want you guys to use it and say geez I offer five or ten percent whatever it is and I broke even you know so be careful with that there make sure you feel comfortable with the amount that or I should say the percentage you put that you're putting on that that particular eBay listing or listings okay make sure now with the uh, when you're doing a bulk setting uh, bulk editing like this when it comes to sending offers you'll notice right up here it's only offering the percentage off that's because it's a bulk setting and not only that um, it's not gonna allow you to add incorporate you know one price if you notice you don't see a price here okay you don't see where it says offer amount that's because it's a bulk setting, okay? Uh, I like to do it on a single one-to-one -one for the simple reasons. I like to change the amounts, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the other way to do it with the, you know, doing it on a singular, you know, a single one, all right, listing, okay? So just remember that, folks, when you do a bulk one, and that means whatever you put in here, if it's 5 10%, all, like in my case, all 31 listings are going to have uh, that that percentage taken off of them and you may not want to because that's when you might take a loss on some of these items so be very careful okay and when you are done with whatever percent you put in you hit that send button that's it it goes out okay all right so just keep that in mind all right now we're gonna bump out here I'm gonna show you how I like to do it okay and hopefully this will be helpful to you guys and uh, maybe it hopefully will spark a little sale you might get you know a potential buyer out there that may whoops that may want to uh, make a purchase of you or for you okay so let's go over here now let's uncheck this here and we're just gonna do uh, one for now and we're gonna come over here and say hit the one here for the vintage Ballantine uh, beer sign okay now if you noticed Let's go over here on it where it says send off is on the top it says you get a choice. You could do the percentage off and you could offer the amount. I like the offer amount. 
okay because I like to change the pricing on these things on these items I have listed now uh, when you come here eBay has in their message uh, box here it's populated with here is your chance to get this item at a great price which is good it allows you 230 characters so if you decide to put your own thing in there you could do it up to 230 characters so make sure you're aware of that okay anything more than that will get cut off okay well you're going to proofread it anyway so that's that's the thing you could also check off over here it's got three boxes to check off uh the one i have allow counter offers which you could uncheck it if you choose not to you could do automatically you could check off automatically send offers it says your offer will be automatically sent to future interested buyers you could click to learn more and learn a little more about that and last but not least is send your coupon for future purchases now like i said i haven't done the per, uh, the uh, coupon thing yet but when i do eventually get around to checking it out um, if I find it to be good, well, either or, good, bad, or indifferent, I will share the video with you and tell you what I think, you know, if it helped, it didn't help, you know, so, but I'm not there yet with that part. So what we want to do now is I'm trying to show you uh, a way to hopefully spark a little sales, <laughs> okay? So we're going to leave this here. Uh, here's your chance to get this item for a great price. We're going to leave that message in there, and what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to look over here. This this item is selling right now. I have a current uh, for $95. I'm going to put in here 90 Now watch all the people watching. It's going to say, we're getting a heads up. All the other people are going to be paying this guy 95 bucks. We're going to get it for 90 You know, whatever. No, seriously. But I still have best offer though. Okay? So people might say, geez, you're kind of daring, right? You got a best offer, but you're doing this here. It's okay. I already got everything all figured out. I already planned ahead of time uh, in regards to this here. Uh, you, on the other hand, a newbie, I wouldn't do what I'm doing. Okay? I've been on eBay for over 20 years. It doesn't make me a mathematician or eBay guru, but... I'm, I'm okay with this here because I got these things for a decent price and I know what I'm going to go. And remember one thing. Remember this, folks. When it comes to best offers, you could decline the offer if it's so low ball. Even if it ain't a low ball offer, you could decline it or you could make a counter offer without anything impacting your seller performance or your seller account. Okay? That's a given okay you don't have to accept the thing if something comes in and there's some let's say I put this for ninety dollars someone says I'll give you five boop I hit the decline button boom everything's okay now people might say yeah but you know if you decline the buyer are you gonna get a strike on your seller account absolutely positively not unless eBay changed it recently that's the way I understand it you do not have to accept an offer okay if it's not with if it's not to your liking or if it's not going to be beneficial to you you do not have to accept that offer you can make a counter offer you could accept make the counter or you could decline okay and believe me i have declined offers many times not a lot but a few times uh people have made ridiculous offers and i just had to decline them <laughs> i mean it wasn't even work it wasn't even worth making a counter i need some water Yeah, it wasn't even worth making a counter offer. Well, that's how ridiculous it was. So remember, folks, when it comes to those three things, that's your discretion. If you want to accept the offer, you want to make a counter offer, and if you want to decline an offer, it will not affect your seller account. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let's get started with this here. Now, I'm going to leave it. The first box checked. I'm not going to do the one that automatically send off is uh, your buyers. Will. I could do that there, but right now, for argument's sake, I'm going to leave it at this. Again, you may want to look into that further. You could check it out. You could learn more. That's why I have click learn more. And I highly recommend read the learn more when it comes to when, they, when eBay puts it there, read it because. You know, they want to show, they want to explain a little more in depth about what it's all about when it comes to things like that. So you may want to, when it says learn more, hit that little uh, active hyperlink and read more about it before you hit that button, okay? All right, so I'm going to drop this price down to $90, okay? Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. And once you get the price you want in there, like you feel comfortable with it, you did, like I said, you did all your figuring, you know, you got all, like I said, you got all your ducks lined up in a row here, and you feel that if you, um, you know, offer, like for me, if I offer this price, do I feel comfortable with it? Yes, I do. Anything, like I said, anything lower than that, even though I have it on eBay as 95, and someone offers me even lower, I could decline it. Okay, so let's click that button. Boom. 
it's done. That's it. Now, if you're a person, like I said again, just to recap really quick, if you don't want to go one by one, do it one by one. You could do the bulk editing. Remember, the bulk editing does not offer you the uh, to change the amount, which you got to understand. You got different things there, different prices. So that makes sense. Again, just check the percentage out and look at the items that you have listed on an eBay. Because you might have, if you say, well, I'll do a bulk editing and you got something for $9.99, you got, you're offering 10% or 15% off. Man, you're gonna probably, it's going to probably be a wash or you're going to break even. So make sure that you feel comfortable with the percent that you put in when it comes to a bulk editing, okay? Look at your listings. Check them out. That's why I like doing the individuals because if you do it like that with the amount, you know, you got more control, so to speak, okay? So that's all I want to share with you guys right now. Um, I hope you found this information helpful. I hope it does increase sales for you guys. And again, if it does, and you want to drop a comment below, say, hey, you know, I tried that best offer thing. It was a yay or a nay, no good or whatever. You want to drop it below, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. I understand. But anyway, I'm going to close this video out for now. And I just want to say to all the newbie sellers out there and to all the seasoned sellers out there, if you are thinking about selling on eBay or you are a seller on eBay, I am wishing you guys all the best in sales. Until next time, bye-bye for now.